Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today what I got for you is I got some tips and tricks about getting your APS droid working on your phone. And I've got some complaints about APRS droid also. Um, now the first complaint I got about APRS droid is if you do not have a SIM card in your phone and that SIM card has to be active on a network APRS Droid will not work. Doesn't matter if you've got a SIM card, a dead SIM card in there and your internet's working, APRS Droid will not work unless you're actively connected to a network. Meaning, when I say network, I mean you have to be paying for the network service through US Cellular, Verizon, T-Mobile, Mint, Boost, Track Phone. Doesn't matter what, it's got to be on an active account or APRS Droid will not work all right and the other thing that um aprs droid will not work is if your gps is not active on your phone now you could go to your aprs droid app you can you know you i'm going to show you you hold the hold down on the app go to the app info and it says well, locations on that doesn't mean anything your location services on your phone may be shut off and I've got another app I'm going to show you that will search your phone and find out that it that the location services is turned off. All right. And at the same time, it's going to tell you if you got a GPS lock on your phone. Because, again, that's the one thing um, on here that has to work is your GPS has to have a lock on a satellite or uh, APRS droid will not send a signal. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here to the desk and we'll get going and we'll send out a couple signals on this. Now I don't have a phone attached, so I mean a, um, a radio attached, so it's not going to send out anywhere. Um, it's just going to show up on the phone itself. But I'm going to show you that it is sending because you're going to be able to hear it um, coming out of the phone. And that's how you know the APRS droid is working. So let's go over onto my desktop. Okay. Guys, here I am on my Android phone, okay? I've got APRS Droid up here, and I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to go press. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to show you I have this set up to send once a minute. Uh, let's go to preferences. Where the heck is it? Uh, I believe it's down here in the location services. So to get this to send up, send a, uh, a packet every minute, I've got this minimum distance shut to zero. And I've got the minimum uptime minutes between beacon transmissions is one. So it's going to send out a beacon transmission every minute. All right. So let's get out of here. Back here. Back on this guy. Keep on hitting this. Way. All right. Now I'm on my desktop here. Now watch. You'll see a little green box pop up right here saying that it's sending information out. But if you listen... Okay, you guys know on your phone, if you don't have this connected to a radio, you'll hear the packet through the uh, onboard speaker of the phone. So watch, I'm going to say, I'm going to say stop tracking, and then I'm going to say start tracking, and you'll see a box pop up right here. All right, so the phone knows it's trying to send out some information, but APRS Droid did not send a packet because it does not have GPS lock. All right, so now what we have to do is we're going to go out here and I'm going to go to Play Store and I'm going to show you an app to get. Play Store. And this is the app you want to get right here. All right, GPS test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it because I've already got it. So it shows up right here. So now if you see right here, it says um gps is basically off but wait a minute i want to show you one thing i, I want to i want i'm kind of screwing you guys up i want to go back now i'm going to press and hold on aprs i'm going to go to app info and right down here permission says it says location is permitted okay so you say well the, the APS droid, I, I got the location permission on there, so why isn't it sending? So now let's go back to the, right here, to GPS test. 
Okay, so now we're right here and it says off. What you do is you press on this right here to try to turn it on and it says the GNSS receiver is turned off. Go to location services and turn on the GNSS service. So click on it right here. Look at on your phone, your location is off. You got to turn it on. All right. So now let's go back to GPS test. All right. So right now it says there's no fix, but I'm just going to leave it alone. And it's going to start finding satellites and you'll go up, up here. It'll say uh, 2D or 3D fix. Once this comes up with a fix, that means that you're, here we go. We are now locked on to a GPS. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit the back button, but leave this, leave this running. All right. We're going to go back to APRS droid. Did you hear that guys? It just sent the packet. All right. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say send position and now listen. All right. It's sending position every time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the phone. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? I'm just going to show you that is what the problem was, is your location services. Even though it said it was on, it's, it was not on. Where the heck is my location at? Location, right there. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go back to APRS Droid. All right. Now, I'm going to try to send a packet again. I'm going to hit that packet. Nothing. Hit it again. Nothing. All right. So now, let's go back to... <laughs> I know it's, it, there's a lot of places I'm going. I'm going to go back up here to GPS test. And as you can see, the location services are turned off. So I'm going to hit this again, off. And it's going to say, hey, your location services is off. I'm going to hit location services. I'm going to turn it back on. All right. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to wait for this to get a fix. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we got a G, we got a 3D fix. So I'm going to go back. APR asteroid. Oh, did you guys just hear that? Uh, I hope you did, because uh, I'm going to wait the full minute. And I'm going to let this automatically, automatically send a signal itself. It's going to send a packet itself in one minute. So hang on, guys, and listen. A minute from oh, there it is. There it is, guys. All right, let me come back in the screen here. All right, so what happened, guys? Let me get you back down here. Is as you can tell. Oh, just sent another one. Um, as you can tell. If you do not have a GPS lock and you don't have an active SIM card, it will not send a signal. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this phone off and I'm going to bring this one up onto the um, computer and we're, we're going to get a GPS lock. We're going to get internet on it, but it does not have an active SIM card and I'm going to show you that it will not send a signal. So let me shut this off. All right. And you see it right there on my screen. I'm going to shut it off. Now I'm going to screen up this one. I got to hit the escape key. All right. Let me get, I'm going to bring you guys back over to that blank screen. Okay. So you guys are looking at a dead screen here right now. I gotta wait for that. Okay, there we go. The phone is just shut off. 
So now let me bring up my other phone. I just got to find Let's View on here. Um, whatever. I got it. I'm sorry about this, guys, but I want to do this in, in real time. Uh, let's see. Start now. Okay. So here we are, guys. We are now on my other phone. Okay. So now let's go to um, APRS Droid. I, see, over here, I already got the GPS test on it. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to go into the phone and I'm going to shut off those that location services. Just to show you. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Now I, I got to freaking try to find it in here. Security and location. Here we go. Uh, find my phone. Blah, blah, blah. Location is on right there. And... I'm going to shut the, now I got the location turned off, and I'll just say close, and that way I can show you that uh, the GPS test will find it. So, let's go to APRS Droid. I got this set up, it's, uh, I got the same one, M1ZAX-9, I'm going to clear that out, I'm going to clear the log, I'm going to go into this phone, I'm just going to show you that I have it set for every minute. I got it set the same exact way. See right here, I've got it. Uh, whoops, it hasn't gone over to that yet. There we go, there it is. So we got it set. The minimum update distance is zero um, because I'm not moving. Minimum transmissions is once a minute, okay? And it's on the same thing, periodic. And I'll even turn on, because the other one had that this turned on. I'll even turn on the network thing, just like the other one. But this, again, this one does not have a SIM card, but it's got full internet provider. It will have GPS lock here in a second. So let's get out of here. Let's just go back to the, the front page. Let's wait for my computer to hurry up here. All right, so let's start tracking. Let's see if we hear anything. I'm going to bring you closer so that you can hear it. Nothing. You need to enable GPS or network location. All right. And I do have network location um, activated. Did you guys see that? It was. Again, I'm going to show you it, that network locator was, in fact, on. Uh, location settings right here. Now wait for it. Come on, load up. Do, 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 do. Right there. Use network location. I do have it turned on. All right. So let's get out of here and let's go to GPS. GPS test. And as you can see, it's off. So I'm going to click on it. Click on it. And it's telling me the location services is off. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to bring me in, and right up here, I'm going to turn on the location, click on it. Now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to GPS test and wait for a GPS lock. And it did not bring me to my GPS, it brought me somewhere else. Uh, why does it keep on bringing me back here? That's on, that's on. Okay, let me just go out of it this way. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Satellites are working now because the location is on. That Well, basically location is meaning that the GPS in the phone is on. We do have a 3D fix. So now we're going to leave this running and go back to APRS. Now we should be able to send a message. All right. So let me get back to the front page. All right, here we are here. Now I'm going to send it. Nothing. APRS services stop. Oh, wait a minute. I already had it running. I'm going to hit it again. It says, nope, can't do it. There's no network. I'm not going to do it. APRS services stop. I'm going to track it again. 
It says right here, it has to have both GPS and network has to be operating or it will not send a signal. All right, guys. So that's it. So I just proved out. So um, on a on APRS Droid, you have to have, if you're using it on a phone, of course, everybody's using it on a phone, but anyways, your phone has to have an active SIM card and it also has to have GPS lock. It's got to have both, not one or the other. It has to have both, or APRS Droid will not send out a signal. All right. Now um, I'm toying around. I'm toying around with Direwolf right now, which is a lot better so far than APRS Droid can ever dream to be. All right. But the only problem I have now is, in a true shit hits the fan situation. How do you send out a signal with direwolf without internet? I haven't proven that out yet. Um, I'm not sure if Pinpoint can work with no internet, no nothing, or Winpack, uh, one or the other. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll, if once I get that all done, I'm going to make another video. All right, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a message. Tell me an I'm an idiot. Uh, that's fine. Talk to you later.